Daddy, I'm pretty sure you don't put mayonnaise and stuff in. Well, how else is it going to stick together? Ah, <laughs> uh, gobble, gobble, people. Happy Turkey Day. Ah, some good smells in here. And some disturbing ones, too. So, Glenn, you changed your mind about going to homecoming this weekend? Man, heck no. High school was the worst years of my life. Why? You should want to go. I can't wait till I graduate and come back to high school rich, famous, and beautiful. Oh, so that's why you don't want to go. Now, uh, speak to her, Flex. She don't know. I'll fight a little girl. Hey, hey, hell no, man. D, I think you should come to homecoming. High school wasn't that bad. Have you forgotten? I mean, Belinda Hopkins, senior year, homecoming dance. How she lured me backstage, tricked me out of my clothes, and then opened the curtains. You can only blame yourself for wearing Spider-Man underwear. <laughs> you wore Spider-Man underwear in high school? Me and my spotty senses don't hear you. I spit away and black you out. Daddy, did you put mayonnaise in the yams? You know it does not go with everything. I don't give a yam. What you think? You gonna eat them and like it, yam it? And you know, you're starting to sound just like your mother, always checking and double-checking on everything I do. Well, obviously, you need someone to check after you. Nicole! Hi, Mommy! <laughs> Tell me that's not my ex-wife here. OK, that's your baby's mama. <laughs> oh, yam, yam, yam! You can feel all by yourself. But I have a partner, but I can't turn When there's nobody around oh, yeah. I'll be there to think and then Why don't you live where you're from? Maybe you can get some more Maybe one on one One on one Can't nobody break this bond Maybe one on one Now we're having fun Maybe one on one 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 Nicole, there's such a thing as a phone call, a fax, an email, a singing telegram, a brick through a window, something to let a brother know you're coming to town. Listen, Flex, it's been three months. A mother misses her child. So anyway, there I was up the coast of Nova Scotia studying the mating calls of killer whales when I realized I had to see my little girl. Killer whales? How does it feel to work with family? <laughs> Well, I'm glad that she's here. I miss my mommy so Thank much. You, baby. <laughs> so what you bring me? I got it. Wow. What Ooh, you think? I love it. It's gonna make me look two years older. <laughs> <laughs> well, nothing but the best for my baby. You know, Dwayne, I always get her a Thanksgiving gift. So what did you get her, Flex? I gave her life. How about that? <laughs> oh, and you also gave her your knobby knees. And they're off. Nicole's out to the early lead, but here comes Flex. <laughs> So, uh, how long are you staying, Nicole? Just through the weekend, long enough to spend some time with Brianna and go to our homecoming. And you can relax. You know, you look a little tense. I'm gonna stay at the Ritz. No, she should stay here with us, right, Daddy? Oh, no, 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 no sweetie. No, no. Look, your mama's from the hood. Don't take the Ritz away from her. <laughs> but, Daddy, I want Mommy to stay with us. And please help Daddy with the cooking, please. No, baby, baby, I just can't go and take over your father's kitchen. That would not be polite. That's right. Now, all I have to do is add the hot sauce to my famous sweet potato pie. <laughs> Ooh. It'll taste so good, it'll make you want to smack your mama. Feel free, Brianna. Get out of my way. Who does she think she is? Pushing me aside. Baking my bird, mashing my potatoes, making that thing smell all good. I don't care what anybody says. I'm eating my own pie. <laughs> Well, give me a slice to go. Teach my mom a lesson for kicking me out on turkey day. <laughs> Just because she got a new man who doesn't like kids. Dinner is served. <laughs> oh, wow, Mommy, this looks amazing. Like it? It's beautiful. <laughs> uh, playing with you and a turkey like a moment alone together? You haven't done anything in a while. How about you lead us in prayer? <laughs> All right. Ah. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. <clears throat> Dear Lord, thank you for the food which you're about to receive, especially my pie. <laughs> Bless everyone here, even the pushy uninvited guests. 
also bless the man who paid for that expensive diamond bracelet that wasn't returned when her marriage ended. And dear Lord, thank you so much for the fair market value she received when she pawned it. You did what? Amen. Amen. Mm-hmm. And this dressing is as moist as a night in Venezuela. Yeah, well, it's a giant phoenix to me. <laughs> well, it's a shame the meal you were preparing couldn't rise from the ashes. <laughs> it's a shame you could. <laughs> Brianna, don't scatter your carrots around the plate. I know you're not eating them. Good looking out, Flex. You know, she always used to hide her veggies. When she was six, I would find peas in her ears. <laughs> but I hate carrots. I'd rather do my algebra. By the way, have you done it? But I have until Sunday. Oh, no, you have till Saturday because I have to go over it. Mom, Brianna, your father's right. Do what he says. May I just point out that you two agreed on something? It's not Thanksgiving. It's Christmas up in here. <laughs> well, I'm really looking forward to homecoming weekend. I think it'll be good to see all of our old friends. We'll take a lot of photos because I ain't going. Dwayne, nobody remembers what happened to you at some little dance in 1985. Yeah, that's fine. Spidey, Spidey! <laughs> Ready to go see Thanksgiving Day Massacre? Are you still spending that in my house, right? Oh, I can't. I didn't know my mom was coming. Oh, no, baby, go ahead. Have fun. I'll be here for a few days. So you must be the infamous Arnaz. Wait, you talk about me to your mom? So you do dig me. <laughs> now I see what you were talking about. Yeah. Right. You must be spirit. You know, your parents have given you a very soulful name. Actually, it's Clotilde. <laughs> So you can see why I went to the other side. <laughs> uh, okay, Mom and Dad, all I'll right. see y'all tomorrow. Oh, uh, all right, sweetie, but call before you go to bed. And wait, here, here, here. Some homemade pie for all of you. <laughs> but, Daddy, these are my friends. <laughs> your Uncle Dwayne loved his. Actually, you set it too close to the edge, and it kind of fell. <laughs> but I think it's eating a hole in the carpet. minutes. What do you mean you don't have no cabs? Ah, uh, well, forget the cab, girl. If you really need to get to the hotel, I got a broom you can hop on. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding, girl. I'll take you. Oh, you will? Yeah. Oh, thanks, Flex. I can't wait to get out of these clothes. Oh, no need. The ride is free, baby. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know, Nikki, I appreciate you taking over dinner. It made for a really nice Thanksgiving. Well, Flex, when I saw you putting hot sauce in a sweet potato pie, I figured, what next? Mayonnaise in the stuffing? <laughs> <laughs> Girl, that's crazy talk. <laughs> you know, Flex, you're not much of a cook, but you're turning out to be a really great father. Thanks. And, and you know I love having her with me. I know. Who'd have thought you and I would make something so good? Not my mother. Oh. <laughs> But you're not the girl she met when we were in high school. Mm -hmm. The one with the big bamboo earrings, at least two pairs. <laughs> That's all right. That's all right. I was around the way, girl. Uh, I, I did my okay, thing. Yeah, Watch me yeah, yeah. uh, <laughs> You know what, Flex? We've, we've come a long way. Yeah. yeah. We have. Yeah. Better jobs. Mm -hmm. Better personal lives. Yeah. Better parents. Wait, like <laughs> I guess we've uh, gotten better at everything, huh? <laughs> Are you sure? Maybe we need to try again, make sure it wasn't a fluke. Well, you know what they say. Third time's the charm. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> mm. Mm. It's 9 a.m. What? Brianna will be home any minute. Mm. We don't want her to catch us like this. You're right, you're right. We'll have a hard time explaining this one. Uh-oh. Flex, I can't find my undies. Oh, well, that explains why these are so tight. <laughs> Give me my undies. Come and get them. <laughs> Eddie, that movie was so scary. I've never seen so many people get killed by one wishbone. <laughs> <laughs> Brianna, you're home. You need something? Uh, pie? <laughs> um, 
Baby, it's, it, it, it's not what it looks like. See, <laughs> this is a funny story. <laughs> See, what had happened was we fell asleep watching TV. That, right? that, yeah, yeah. And she, your mother had a, a itch in her back, and I was trying to scratch it. Where's sure that? Did. Where you said right, right down there right at the right bottom. Thank you so much. <laughs> guys, I know what's going on. I watch Sex in the City. You two are fooling around. Uh, wait a second now. We're not fooling around. Look, I care for your mother a lot. We have a lot of history together. Yeah, well, yeah, he's right. We have you. So this must mean you're getting back together! Oh. Oh. This is so cool. I want to do this as long as I can remember. <laughs> you, you two don't have any clothes on, do you? Mm -mm. <laughs> well, you know what? All I was hoping for was a great Thanksgiving. I guess Mom coming to town wasn't the only surprise. Good morning. Hey. Flex, what happened last night? If you have to ask, I must not have been doing it right. <laughs> Why are we here? We've been divorced for 12 years. I don't know. I just looked at you, something clicked. Maybe it was the way you stuffed the turkey. <laughs> no, I'm serious. Our little girl thinks we're getting back together. Is that so crazy? Yes. I mean, you know, I've, I've got my research in Nova Scotia, and, you know, you and Brianna, you guys are building a beautiful life here in Baltimore. Maybe we shouldn't mess that up. Look, let's just get through the weekend, you know? I really want us to try to make this work, Nikki. It feels right. Should we go for it? I'm already gone. the best cheerleaders out there. That's my That's baby, our baby. Yeah. That's our baby. <laughs> Oh, Daddy, can I have some money for snacks? Oh, baby, you don't need any money. I bought pie. Go, oh, no. go. <laughs> uh, afternoon, alumni, alumni. <laughs> Man, who you trying to be? D. Diddy? <laughs> <laughs> my business card. Dwayne Knox, freelance astronaut. <laughs> <laughs> See, success is the best revenge. And since I'm just a used car salesman, I'm pretending to be a successful spaceman so as to get my revenge with Belinda. Uh, Belinda. Belinda, how are you doing, baby? Do you remember me? Of course I do, Dwan. Uh, Dwayne, not astronaut. <laughs> Why don't we go take a ride in my limo? I'll tell you about my seven nights on Saturn. <laughs> Did you just see that? No, no. Yes, you did. Don't lie. Hey, come on. Look, it's no big deal. She's just being friendly. See, that was always your problem, Flex. You too damn friendly. <laughs> oh, hold up now. You always seeing things that aren't there. Poof, there it is. Poof, there's something else. I do not. I should sure do. What is that? Oh, excuse me, Grady. Can you mind your business? <laughs> hey, hey, what are you guys fighting about? Oh, yeah. we're not fighting, baby. No, we're just talking with a lot of emotion, baby. Yeah. That's all. <laughs> then why is Daddy's angry vein popping out of his head? <laughs> That's my love bump. <laughs> it pulsates whenever I'm around your mother. <laughs> <laughs> all right, be still, BDB. Flex, come on, we're going to be late. You're always late, and you know I hate being late. <sighs> You know, you've always been impatient. Nicole, you should just take a moment, breathe, and relax. <sighs> okay, let's go. Wait a minute, where are my keys? I left them right here on the coffee table. Oh, well, I put them in the kitchen drawer. You know I hate clutter. And you know I hate when you move my stuff all around. 
Netflix. You know what? Don't stop before well, we go out. Hey, hey, okay. Here are the keys. Safe and sound. Let's go. Thanks, Bree. Look, Nicole, I have a system, okay? A place for everything and everything in its place. Right. On the floor, on top of the TV. You know, Nicole, bed. I'm just Okay, hey, you. hey, hey. Let's go party. <laughs> yeah. Okay. I can't believe you two are still together. Star basketball player, class valedictorian. <laughs> you two were such leaders. And look at you, still a <laughs> Thank, Thank you. you. <laughs> well, I have a PhD. <laughs> I make more money than she does. <laughs> In that case, a donation to our building fund is always appreciated. Oh, sheesh, of course. Honey, donate. <laughs> Well, I guess I could write a check for a hundred. You know? Oh, no, 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 absolutely not. Make it five. We're not cheap people. Oh, we're not cheap people? Oh, it's easy to be generous when it's not your money. Oh. <laughs> okay, you know what? This is so embarrassing. I always thought my parents getting back together would be the best thing ever, but look at them. They always fight. Parents always fight. In my house, it starts every Friday when my mama wonders what happens to my daddy's check. <laughs> my parents never argue. In fact, they never talk. There's a cool, eerie silence in my house. It's kind of cool, though. My parents seem to fight about everything. I mean, yesterday, it was, should the toilet paper go up and over or down and under? Who cares? It all gets flushed. <laughs> <laughs> so I said to him, Billy Boy, instead of Michael Hard, why not call it micro saw? <laughs> Dwayne, why didn't I realize how fabulous you were in high school? It's the fur, baby. Go on, pet me. I'll be your real life chia pet. Ooh, watch me grow. <laughs> you and your family. You always thought you were better than me and my family. How do I put this nicely? We were. <laughs> You see what I mean? Uppity. Just stank and uppity. Oh, yeah? Well, I'm sure you missed the days when you drank Kool-Aid out of the jelly jar. Excuse me, those were passed down from my grandmother. Ladies and gentlemen, I'd like to take a moment to thank the most generous contributors to our building fund, Flex and Nicole Barnes. Can you believe they're still together? Fast and just so slow getting ready. Oh, mom and dad, please stop. You are giving me a headache. I'm going to bed. So why'd you have to go and upset her? Me? What about you? You're the one always complaining. Stop touching my stuff. You still want to go. Oh, well, I'm not the one with the bad nose. Sound like you're boiling eggs up there. <laughs> and you always picking at me, too. No, no, no. I'm just honest with you about your fault. You know what? You're not as perfect as you think you are, Flex. You know what, Nicole? Who are we kidding, huh? This is not working out. You know, that's the first thing we agreed on all night. Look, there's no right or wrong here. We're just not getting along. And unfortunately, that's why we got a divorce. You're right. You're right. Now, I remember. So how are we gonna break this to Brianna? Like two mature adults. Gonna break her heart. Yippee! Yes, I love you guys. You made me so happy. Wait, you're not upset? No, I'm relieved. You guys torture each other. And if you stay together, sooner or later the hate will trickle down to me. And I don't want to be trickled on. <laughs> Ooh, I love you guys. <laughs> My parents have came to their senses. <laughs> the world is right again. <laughs> What's wrong with Yo, child. Nothing. You know, I have for her is cool. <laughs> well, I guess I better get to the hotel. Good idea. Uh, Nicole, we were good together once. Yeah. We were.
clothes off. <laughs> nice underwear, Dwayne. Yes, yes, they are. But this time, they're cowboys. Flex, they are worse than my mama. Man, that's a Diddy condo association with their rules and regulations. Man, where do we live? In Germany? May I keep my water bed? Nine! 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 Man, that rule protects everybody, especially you. D, I've seen you trying to get out of that water bed. Look like a roach that fell in a swimming pool. <laughs> They're doing you wrong, D. Thank you. You know what else is wrong? You not sitting in my chair so I could tighten you up. No, no, I don't think so, Walt. Last time I was in your chair, my hairline was as crooked as an Enron executive. Hey, man, that's what you get when you win your barber license in a crap game. <laughs> Hello, everybody. Oh, hey, Mom. <laughs> Brianna, I was at the library for the last 45 minutes and I realized something was missing. <laughs> you. Why are you here and not studying for the PSAT? Because my nails are W-E-T, mommy. <laughs> and if you mess them up, you gotta pay me more M-O-N-E-Y. <laughs> See, mommy, a spelling game. I am studying. Brianna, let's go. Nicole, relax. It's not that serious. The PSAT is a standardized test. She can't study for it. It's a test on what she already knows. You don't study for the test. You study how to take the test, Professor Flatapp. <laughs> You're right, Nicole. Baby, when you take the test, read the questions and darken the bubble with the right answer. Now study that. I dream of weaving. <laughs> <laughs> so you do this every time. I say one thing and you have to say the opposite. That's not true. Tall. Short. Left. Right. Michael Jackson. What? Right. Black. Right. I don't know. Sometimes in this life, you can feel all by yourself. Check, one, two. But I have a partner, but I can't turn no one else. Uh -huh. So don't isolate yourself when there's nobody around. Uh -huh. Oh, yeah. I'll be there. SATs is very important. I come from a long line of women that didn't go to college. I started the tradition of higher learning, and she is going to continue it. You also come from a long line of women who started the tradition of drinking Kool-Aid out of jelly jars. <laughs> go ahead, make jokes, Flex. I wouldn't expect you to understand. You were getting into college regardless. You had basketball. All my babies got are her brains. <laughs> And I'm scared. This is what the establishment wants us to do. Argue amongst ourselves. That's why they made that test culturally biased. I mean, check it. What's the first thing they tell you? Bring a number two pencil. Why? Because a number one pencil is too dark, too strong, too dominant over that white paper. OK, OK, fine. Even if a portion of the test is culturally biased, math is universal. There is no excuse for not doing well in that section. But, Mom, I'm going to be an actress. If math is ever in a movie, it's going to go straight to video. Oh, oh. Uh, I want to underestimate math. See? Now, I use it every day. Uh -huh. For example, uh -huh. if my bookie is heading to my house at 40 miles per hour and I left town 30 minutes ago, in which state would he be breaking my legs? Anyone? <laughs> Anybody? <laughs> Texas. Wow. You know, I got a perfect score on my PSATs. No. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah. And my life has been downhill ever since. You want to know why? Because everyone expects you to be a genius. So I know the chemical composition to a cancer vaccine. But that don't get you women. Now, used cars. That gets you women. <laughs> yeah, used women. I ain't picky, girl. <laughs> Look, the child is only 16. I want her to enjoy her life. I don't want her under so much pressure. And I don't want her to be 34, stressed out and bitter, like you. You're right. That's why, in addition to some study books, I brought along something to inspire her. You see, it's a book about a woman that was trapped in a shotgun marriage, and she was able to escape because she got an education. But, Mommy, this is your wedding album. Exactly! <laughs> Brianna, to the library. <laughs> OK, students, it's time for the PSATs. Take your seats. Ooh! Ooh! Pencils are for 
for writing, not for stabbing. So, Brianna, you think you're ready? Look, that Christmas kiss was a big mistake. I wish we... Oh, you mean the test. Yeah, boy, I got this. Spirit, what about you? Well, ooh, I wasn't prepared for that question. Ooh, I'm gonna fail. Hey, don't stress. I mean, everybody's a little nervous. Especially you when you're around me. You look tense. Oh, please, you and your corny. Ooh. Girl, he's strumming my pain with his fingers. <laughs> How can you two fool around at a time like this? This is the most important moment of our lives. Girl, if it was that important, all the banks would be closed. <laughs> Besides, I've got dreams. And my talent can't be determined by some multiple choice questions. It's more true or false. Brianna is talented, true. Brianna cares about this test, false. <laughs> All right, students, it's time to begin. And if I catch any of you cheating, you'll be taking it up with the Board of Education. <laughs> Just a little PSAT joke. Don't tell your mommies and daddies. Okay, begin with your social security number and your name. And I thought that chubby red M&M was on the loose. <laughs> Man, why do you always have to be joking about my weight? Don't you think I try? Donut? Ooh, don't mind if I do. <laughs> What's with the paint, man? You see, red door symbolizes good luck. Feng shui. Ah, <laughs> breaking the uniformity rule. The condo board's gonna feng shui you to the curb. <laughs> the point is, Flex, according to this rule book, in cases of aesthetic alterations, the condo board will only intervene if a complaint is lodged. And I talked to everybody in the building, and they are all for it. So, uh, <laughs> who the man? I the man. <laughs> okay, looks like you've uh, beaten the system. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Twinkie? You know you shouldn't tempt me, Flex. All right, man, fry it up, and I'll be in there in 10 minutes. All right. <laughs> I've never seen parent-teacher night this crowded. Well, they're also giving out the PSAT results, which means college is just around the corner. <laughs> <laughs> oh, which reminds me, um, you need to come up with $150,000 so she can go to Harvard. <laughs> oh, sure. I'll just reach in my wallet and pull up my million-dollar bill. <laughs> <laughs> I hope it have change. <laughs> and what are you going to pay for? I was in labor for 17 hours. <laughs> my debt is paid. <laughs> Man, look at all the people here. Reminds me when my dad used to drag me to those parent-teacher nights. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yep, just like that. Hey, Flex, isn't that Carl Swayze from high school? I haven't seen him in years. Yeah, he was pretty popular back in the day. Yeah, he still looks good. Yeah, if you like a guy with his name on his pocket. <laughs> now, who would have thought he'd become a janitor? Well, should we speak to him? Do you want to feel incredibly uncomfortable? Oh, what time? <laughs> Ready for us. Oh, Ooh, that was quick. Oh, yeah, I told the mommy couldn't be on her feet too long. A bad case of the gout. Good girl. <laughs> <laughs> welcome, welcome, welcome. Uh, Miss Sorrell. <laughs> you must be Brianna's parents. Mm -hmm. Now, let's talk about Brianna's future. Yes, yes, let's talk about Harvard. Oh, no, no, let's talk about the University of Maryland. Go Terps! No, she's going to Harvard. Go smarty pants. <laughs> Go smarty pants. Uh, and you have a PhD. They just give them away, don't they? 
Divorced parents, huh? Yeah, I suggest we get this thing going before he mentions her toes. Okay, uh, let's pull your file. Uh-huh, here it is. Oh, my! Brianna, could you go get us some cookies? Oh, I see you want to have a private conversation with my parents. Look, I've never said this before, but if they start talking about each other's mamas, duck. <laughs> the cookie line isn't long, so we need to talk fast. According to her PSAT results, we'll be lucky if she can find her way back. So what are you saying? Well, she's a good student, but with test scores like these, I'm afraid she's just not college material. What do you mean she's not college material? Take a look at these. Let me see. Huh? I can't take her nowhere. I'm so sorry. <laughs> some flashcards. That way you can look at them on the bus and in between classes, and then you can put them under your pillow at night so they can sink into your head while you sleep. Mom, I'm not going to college. I don't want to go to college. Oh, jeez. Okay. Oh. Baby, go to your room. You're killing your mother. Oh. Oh. Flex, we, we got to fix this. What are we going to do? If she skins her knee, we kiss it and make it better. If she gets into a fender bender, we take the car to the repair shop. If you get these, oh. we buy her a helmet and pad her room. <laughs> I'm sorry to say, Nicole, but the girl's not going to college. What do you mean she's not going to college? That's what we always planned. It's the one thing we agreed on. Yeah, that was before we saw her test scores. Oh. Have you seen these numbers? Oh. I mean, 60 out of 240? <laughs> you get 20 points just for knowing your name. Where did I go wrong? was pregnant with her. I ate right. I didn't smoke. I didn't drink. I even put the Walkman headphones on my belly and played classical music for her in my womb. Except for that night that you slipped in that fat boy CD. Uh, me? It's, it's your fault. All those 7-Eleven burritos while you were pregnant. You were belly up to a microwave almost every night. You probably fried her fetal brain. <laughs> Look, Flex, blaming each other is not gonna do her any good. Okay, you're right. We gotta think about Brianna, yes. right? We have to consider her future uh -huh. and, and start to make plans so she'll be well taken care of. Flex, what are you saying? God forbid something happens to us, Nicole. Our baby could end up... in a group home? <laughs> oh, come on, man. Do, do you really think it's that bad? Numbers don't lie! <laughs> To DeVry! <laughs> to pick up a catalog! You aim it too high at DeVry! Come on, man, get up. Let me have that. Get up. Oh, man. All right, Walt, this is your lucky day. So don't jack me up, man. Hey, I got you, all right? Frankly, I'm insulted that you would insinuate I ain't the master barber. Now, how do I work these head cutty things? Man. You know I'm playing, man. Look, well, I don't have time for your jokes, dog, all right? So focus and cut my hair. Flex. Hey, hey man. Hey, uh, don't look at me, Patches. <laughs> uh, look, we just call it the birthmark. Come man, on. Look. <laughs> I'm glad I saw you, Flex. Man, we're gonna have to call the exterminators for our building because it looks like we have some rats. Somebody anonymously complained about my feng shui. Man, I hate that building. I've been betrayed, and vengeance shall be mine. <laughs> Bro, I said, vengeance shall be mine. But I don't say that every day. Yes, you do. Yeah, I do. All right. Anyway, dog, <laughs> hey, I got some things on my mind. We just got Brianna's PSAT results. It turns out she's not as bright as we all thought. How slow are we talking? You know how long it takes my dad to pay, y'all? That slow. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> Not her IQ. <laughs> hey, Daddy, I came to get some gas money so I can go to the mall. Oh, the mall? Now, you know that's uh, clear across town. You know, a lot of lights and stop signs. And let's not mention those left-hand turns. Uh-huh. Uh, Flex, you don't think that might be a little complicated? What? Complicated, baby. As in, um, <laughs> difficult, or hard to do, not easy. Yes, I know what the word complicated means. Oh, see that? Thank God my baby knows what complicated means. Oh, you'll get there, baby. You know they have a special bus that can pick up girls like you. <laughs> okay, I don't know what's going on here, 
but why is everybody acting like I'm stupid? Oh, well, no, 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 no. Nobody's saying you're stupid, no. Look, after seeing the results on the PSAT test, I'm a little concerned. That means he cares about you, baby. <laughs> oh, wait, 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 hold up. You still tripping about that test? You can't take that test seriously? Lord knows I didn't. <laughs> what are you talking about? Well, I could have done better on the test, but I just didn't care. Wait a minute, you didn't even try to do well on that test? No, I don't need it. I've decided I'm gonna embrace my acting talent. The only education I need is a classroom of life and a dialect coach. Good day, Governor. But, Brianna, you need a backup plan. But that's what soap operas are for. <laughs> I'll see you later, Daddy. Uh-huh. I have a soap opera for her, as the belt turns. <laughs> Cole, we need to fix this. Oh, so now we've got some fixing to do. What happened to, she has to find herself and I don't want her to be under so much pressure. Oh, come on, we both know what was going on. I was just saying the opposite of what you were saying. No, you weren't. Yes, I was. Would you stop that? <laughs> Look, what are we gonna do about our brilliant yet manipulative child? Well, one thing's for sure, we gotta make her understand that she needs a backup plan. Hmm? And she's going to the college of my choice. You're right. No, don't argue with me. I'm. You, you agree with me? Huh? Was it as good for you as it was for me? <laughs> Hurry up, Hoppity. How long do you have to wear that thing? Don't worry, girl. I'll be back chasing you in 30 days. Stop it. Girl, why are you so dressed up? Because the college recruiters are coming today. Yeah, but you're only a sophomore. Yes, a sophomore who scored a 200 out of 240 on her PSATs, which means I'm on the fast track to one of the better colleges. Well, if you got a 200 and you're on the fast track and I got a 215, what track am I on? A track to a boring life, punching in and punching out. 2.5 kids, a white picket fence, supporting a wife who can't cook, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> hey, you know what? You can be my accountant, because I'm on my way to Hollywood, or should I say, Brianna Wood. <laughs> and my soul needs relief. I'm holding you. Holding you. Who's that? When the world comes down, I look around. Yes, I do. I try to find the way to keep my feet on the ground. Hey, 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 hey. holding you. Carl, you can sing. Uh-uh, scratch that. You can sing. How'd you end up scrubbing toilets? No offense. None taken. Besides, I don't really scrub them. I just make sure the water stays blue. <laughs> Wait a minute. I know that song. That was holding you by physical edge. That's right. I was the lead singer. I formed that group right out of high school. Holding you was number one. Till Color Me Bad knocked me off the charts. But you can sing. You can cut another album. I cut four of them. And then they cut off my lights. We better get to class. Man, thanks, Carl. I hope this makes Brianna realize that she has to have a backup plan. Yeah, I'm sorry things didn't work out for you in music and all. Are you kidding me? I own a custodial service. I got the contract for the whole Baltimore school district. Then what are you doing here? I'm only filling in for one of my workers who's on vacation. Plus, it keeps me off the golf course and out of the sauna. You know, gives me a chance to keep it real. You know what I'm saying? Flood app. <laughs> you know, Carl is looking better and better to me. <laughs> when the world gets weird, everybody gets good. I'm holding on. Nicole, what are you doing here? Well, actually, Flex, um, I was having fantasies about us getting back together again. So I come over here every afternoon and I hug your pillows and I smell your shirts. And I pray to God you take me back. <laughs> <laughs> No, seriously. 
seriously, the results of Rihanna's makeup PSATs are in. Okay, I'm ready for you. It's time to go. Come on. Stop. Okay. Rihanna? Okay, guys, I just want you to know that you were right. I should have a backup plan. That's good. Now, now open it up. And no matter what these numbers say, I did my best, so please don't be mad at me. Oh, we're not going to be mad at you. Just uh -huh. open it up. Come on. And I just want to say Why'd that. Why don't you just I... open the envelope? <laughs> I got a 220. She did! A baby's not an idiot! <laughs> okay, okay, I did good, but I'm still not going to college. Oh! <laughs> Stop killing your mother! <laughs>
Well, what do you know about hard with your iPods and, and your cell phones? I do too know what hard said trick or treat. <laughs> Look, little boy, Halloween is over and it's late, and I know you did not just walk up in my house. Oh, I get it. You two are too busy fighting to buy candy. Well, I say I'm gonna have to trick you. He into she, she into he. This will be the only way they will see. He into she, she into he. Hey, 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 hey. I'm telling your mama. And where do you live? What was that? He and the she, she and the he. What's going on? There's no earthquakes in Baltimore. Wait, there's also no 13D in this building. Oh, my new team people's in. Look at Lindsay. Those aren't real. Hmm. Mm. Jerry Rice is still playing the game. Scoring touchdowns at 41, huh? He's got good hands, but I got a bit of hairline. Mm. I got a bit of everything. And I should have never retired. Somebody finally found that classic little spider I left over here for Halloween. <laughs> Scary, huh? You're me? And you're me. Ah! Wait, 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 wait. You guys switched bodies? <gasps> Timmy! Who? Timmy, he's the kid in the story that Dwayne told us last night. Grandpas into babies, husbands into housewives, daughters into daddies. Oh, no! I'm an 18-year-old girl. Oh, my goodness, is that a pimple? Oh, my goodness. I'm an old man. And, Daddy, what did you eat last night? Dwayne, man, this is all your fault. You and your stupid ghost stories unleashed this madness. Now I want you to find this Timmy and get him to fix this. Find a ghost, right. <laughs> Who am I going to call? Oh, this is just great. As if my life wasn't hard enough. Oh, Daddy, it's always about you. Flat out, flat out, flat out. <laughs> I have a drama midterm, and, oh, my God, tonight's my two-month anniversary with Arnez. So? So we have a date tonight. I can't go looking like this. Oh. Okay, baby, okay, baby, sit down. Stop crying. Stop crying. Look, we'll figure this all out by then. But in the meantime, you just have to be me, and I'll just have to be you. What? Are you kidding? You can't be me. I'm popular. <laughs> Popular? Haven't you seen my face on the side of a bus? Now that's popular with a capital pop. <laughs> okay, what you need to worry about is the Gary Hall interview. The Olympic swimmer? Oh, please, I can talk to him. I've been swimming since I was eight. You know. <laughs> Was the water cold? Flat out. <laughs> it's not that easy. I have a list of very insightful questions. Here, don't mess it up. Daddy, don't embarrass me at school. Now, what could I possibly do to embarrass you? <laughs> oh, wow, that's a look. Oh, Spirit, I forgot all about you. Oh, gee, thanks, yeah, best friends forever. <laughs> no, now I can use you. I mean, um, hey, Spirit girl. <laughs> you know, I forgot where I'm supposed to be taking my drama midterm. <laughs> hey. What happened to you? You know that little yellow sign the janitor puts out so you don't slip on the wet floor? What, you didn't see it? No, I saw it. And then I snagged it and tried to surf it down the stairs. I like this. Mm, librarian, huh? You want to make out? I promise to be quiet. Uh, yeah, yes, I know you'll be quiet. Otherwise, I'm going to break your other leg. Look, I am here for one reason and one reason only, and that is to learn. Oh, uh, my little Bree Bree's nervous about her midterm. Don't worry, baby. You're gonna nail it. Oh, easy, bro. <laughs> what is 
wrong with me that a book is even getting kisses? <laughs> what? Don't you have a class to get to? Yeah, we have drama together, duh. Oh, okay. Yeah. Good hands! <laughs> what is up with you? You're not nervous about tonight, are you? Tonight? Oh, yeah, the anniversary thing, huh? <laughs> Wait, why should I be nervous? There isn't a reason for me to be nervous, is there, boy? I mean, <laughs> Ernest? No, it's just that I know we've both been waiting a long time for this. Especially you, because it's your first time. But don't worry, I won't let these crutches get in the way. And I promise you, you won't be disappointed. <laughs> Interview Gary Hall. Interview Gary Hall. Hello, this is Flex Washington of the Flex Files. I think I'm really hot, and I say witty things like, flat at. <laughs> there you are. And there you are. Aren't you a little round for the Olympics? Aren't you a little straight for that shirt? Oh, this thing? Oh, I, it was a sale at the mall. I just couldn't resist. I don't know what's gotten into you, Washington, but anyway, just get in there and get my interview, slugger. How's it hanging? I, I mean, not that I'm looking. Oh, jeez. Flex, why aren't you with Gary Hall? Oh, round guy, thank God. Look, I can't do this. I don't feel very well. Can't you call that Ronya girl to do it? Oh, my God, not again. Okay, now listen. You have got to forget this, Flex. If you want to get the next big interview, you're going to have to wow me. Ronya wows me. Oh, Gary, you know Flex, Washington, Flex. This is Olympic medalist Gary Hall. Oh, my God. You're that swimmer guy. You're totally fast. And you have really great pecs, too. Uh, uh, I mean, from <clears throat> one guy with great pecs to another. <laughs> All right, let's get started. On five... Four, three, two. I think that you're cute. You think I'm cute? Uh, uh, I mean, I'm only asking as, as a man. Yeah, you're fine. <laughs> you think so? Can we start the interview? Oh, right, right, I'm sorry. Okay, yeah. Um, uh, hello, sports fans. This is Flex Washington. Fladap. <laughs> I'm here with Gary, the swimmer guy. He swims really, really fast. And he was in the Olympics, too. And he won a lot of medals. And he was swimming fast. And he said, you have to be comfortable in the, in the water and, and have fun doing what you're doing because swimming looks fun. <laughs> um, <clears throat> but, uh, tell me, Gary, was the water cold? Barnes. Brianna Barnes. Huh? Oh, yeah, uh, that's me. What's up? <laughs> okay, Brianna, I believe that you're doing a monologue from The Glass Menagerie. No. Actually, um, if you don't mind, I've chosen a new piece. It's dedicated to my boyfriend, Arnez. <laughs> he is truly my inspiration. <laughs> Ladies, and gentlemen, may I present to you the final scene of the American classic, Scarface. <laughs> okay, you little cockroach. You want to play it off? Huh? Okay. Say hello to my little friend. <laughs> Thank you. 
Do we always have to be together? <laughs> what? No, I mean, really, do you ever think about, say, getting a life of your own? <laughs> yeah, I thought you looked a little bloated. I've got some mite all in my purse. <laughs> so, are you excited about tonight with our next? What's there to be so excited about? Is that all that goes on in the minds of you young girls today? Boys, boys, boys? You little fast tail girl. <laughs> yeah, keep the whole bottle. <laughs> Thank God you're home. How was school today? Tell me everything. Who did you talk to? Did you see Arnez? Did he look cute? <laughs> oh, hey, Spirit. Hey, Mr. Washington. <laughs> Is that what you wore today? Did you cut my jacket? Isn't it fierce? Okay, never mind. How did the Gary Hall interview go? Oh, the swimmer guy, I love him. Oh, I know, girl, he is fine. <laughs> First, damned, mystified, come hither. Did you find something? Not yet, not yet, but I'm close. I just have to channel the spirit of Timmy, and then we'll find our answer. Channeling? Dwayne, what do you know about channeling? Well, I learned all about it at channelingghost.com. <laughs> Even got the outfit there, too. What are you talking about, channeling? Uh, Spirit, there's some cake in the fridge. Oh, really? What kind? Does it matter? Not really. <laughs> Dwayne, you have to hurry. Arnez will be here in an hour. Okay, Dwayne, we can discuss this further at your place. Spirit. Did Arnez look cute today? Uh, I think I hear my mama calling me by Mr. Washington Spirit. <laughs> hey, Spirit. Hey, whatever therapy you're doing with that one, yeah, it's not working. <laughs> hey, Danielle, what's up? You do know Halloween is over, right? <laughs> Anyway, listen, about last night, Flex, that whole kiss thing. Oh, I don't think we should be talking about this right now. No, 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 Flex, you're mad at me? Look, I, I was only teasing. That's why I came over here. I wanted to apologize. Okay, you're forgiven. No, seriously, Flex, I went home and I thought about it. Look, we agreed to just be friends so that you could be a good role model for your daughter. And what do I do? I make fun of it when I should have encouraged it. You're a good dad, Flex, and a really good friend. He did all that? He really is a good dad. So, we're cool, right? Right. <laughs> <laughs> so, what kind of mascara do you use? Because I've been trying to get my eyelashes to curl like yours. <laughs> I'm channeling Timmy. Timmy, Timmy, tell us. How do we reverse the curse? <laughs> it is only when you truly understand he whom you inhabit that you can again reclaim yourself. <laughs> oh, well. Well, you have your answer. I think. Daddy, no, you can't go on my date with Arnez. Oh, my God, that's him. Kill me. Kill me now. Don't worry. Everything's going to be okay. Daddy, please be nice. I promise. Oh, hello, Arnez. Are those for me? Thanks. Well, happy anniversary to you, too. Yeah. Uh, sit down, boy. We need to talk. Not the talk again. When are we gonna stop talking and get to loving? Look, boy. <laughs> it's not that I don't like you. I'm sure you're a nice kid and everything, but I don't think we're ready for this. What do you mean? We've been waiting for months. So what? Some people wait years. You know what? We should wait years. <laughs> so you change your mind? Now? Boy, it doesn't matter when I change my mind. No means no. <laughs> All right, well, I guess we won't be needing these. Oh, no, he didn't. He better not be pulling out what I think he's pulling out. I guess Spirit can use them. What's she gonna do with them? Prince tickets? That's what we're doing tonight? Going to a concert? 
I thought we were having sex. You did? I mean, we can. I mean, yeah. Prince is highly overrated. You can get off me. That's the Brianna I know. Look, Arnez, you can't... I know. We're not having sex until you're good and ready, and that may not be until we're married. I told you that? Yeah, all the time. So she has been listening to me. She is being responsible. Did you feel that? Feel what? I'm me again. <laughs> Nothing. Excuse me. Brianna, I'm me. I'm me. I'm me. I know, I know. <laughs> oh, oh, wait, we should be getting to the concert. Daddy, is it okay? Hey, you don't have to check with me. Since when? Since we came to an understanding. Now you, I will always check. Stop being so grabby. You don't like that, huh? No. You like when somebody grabs on you? You like that? Go on, hop on, hop on, hop on. Okay, you know what? I just realized I can't let Prince see me like this. Well, he probably like what I'm wearing better. Hot stuff? Brianna, come on. There's no need to advertise all this. So, I hear you're a pretty good dad. And I hear you're a pretty good girl. Yeah, you know what, Daddy? There is one thing that I really liked about being you. What? The adoration of all my fans? Nah. <laughs> I got to see naked boys. Holla! <laughs> Last time on One on One. I'm going to the University of Maryland. Yes! <laughs> Baby, what about Cal Arts? I just decided to stay here and be with my boo. We need to make sure that she goes to Cal Arts, away from Arnez. How could Brianna go to California to follow her dream and you stay here in Baltimore to follow your dream? I've been giving this a lot of thought and I really think that Cal Arts is a better school for you. Are you talking about us being apart? Nicole, if Brianna finds out about this, she's gonna hate us for the rest of our lives. You just make sure she gets on that plane to California and don't screw it up. Sometimes in the night, you can feel all by yourself. Yeah, one, two. But I have a partner, but I can't turn no one else. Uh -huh. So don't isolate yourself when there's nobody around. Uh -huh. Oh, yeah. I'll be there. Look what I found in storage. It was mine in college, and now it's yours. You can't go to college without a footlocker. Why not? I'm going without a boyfriend. Does that footlocker have soft lips and tell me how beautiful I am? Uh, no, but a footlocker can double for a coffee table, a stereo stand, and a jerry curl restoration center. <laughs> Seriously, think of California as a new beginning, a, a chance to make new friends. California friends. I bet they're real nice out there. You mean like Phil Spector, Robert Blake, and Scott Peterson nice? All right, well, just stay away from old white men with bad haircuts. Bye, Flex. I'm almost done with Brianna's graduation video. All I need now is the perfect ending. Uh, how about when Brianna received her diploma? When that happened? See, that's what I get for hiring John Singledum. So where's our little college student? In her room, miserable because of me. Mm. Reminds me of my youth. So what'd you do to ruin her childhood? Tell her that moonwalking naked during her lunch period would make her popular? Look, I, I convinced Arnez that it would be better for Brianna to go to California without him. And I was right for getting involved, wasn't I? <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> but then again, I'm the one who's getting the perfect ending to my video. <laughs> this is gonna blow up in your face and action. Thank you. <laughs> now, what have I done, D? I spent four years trying to build my daughter's trust and I'm the one who betrays her. And I just wish I could tell her. Well, you can. Tell it to the lens. <laughs> Give me a Don't you get it? I just can't tell her, D. And she'll hate me for meddling. And I still think California is what's best for her. So, maybe, maybe I did the right thing. You think I did the right thing? Yeah, of course I did the right thing. D, tell me I did nah, the right I... thing. Man, you did the right thing. Ah, it doesn't count if I have to beat it out of you. Mama says it counts more. <laughs> I was pulling.
pulling myself together before I said goodbye. Goodbye. <laughs> oh, I can't do it. Close the door. I'll try again. <laughs> Girl, come in here. Oh, you're packing. You're doing everything without me. You went shopping. You got ice cream. You even went to the post office without me. Spirit, did you follow me today? Why do you have to go to summer school? Why can't you wait until the fall like normal people? Because I'm not normal. I'm a theater major. We have to start in the summer repertory program. Besides, I'm trying to get as far away from here as I possibly can. Oh, not to be away from you. We'll always be friends no matter how far apart we are. Okay. But promise me, we'll talk on the phone. You have to call me. My parents have toll restrictions. Ooh, a present. Oh, save your money, girl. You get all this for free. <laughs> no, it's not for you. It's for Brianna. Oh, good. She could use a pick-me-up. Then again, so could I. Mm. Mm. No, I I'm sorry. I just don't want Brianna to walk in and get the wrong idea. I've been her father for a long time. She knows women can't resist me. Mm. <laughs> yeah, you better... Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, Brianna, I, I was looking for you. Oh, really? Did you think I was in the back of my daddy's mouth? I'm Bri-Bri. <laughs> I brought you a present. Oh, I'm not grossed out anymore. <laughs> Another therapy journal, but I thought I was fixed. Oh, this isn't for therapy. This is for when something wonderful happens to you, then you can write it down. Oh, thanks. Oh, I... I noticed she didn't give me a pin, so I guess you're feeling as optimistic as I am. Uh, yes, yeah, she's been like that ever since her and Arnaz broke up. Oh, poor girl, but I know she'll get through it because she has you. <laughs> hey, what's that supposed to mean? Well, I, I just meant that you're a good father. You know, you two have a level of trust and honesty that most relationships never reach. You're a wonderful and loving parent, Flex. Any girl would be lucky to have a father like you. Don't you agree? Uh, what's with the 20 questions? I only asked one. <laughs> but I went behind Brianna's back and convinced Arnez that it's best for her to go to California without him. There, are you happy? You with your Freudian mind tricks. Flex, I, I, I just, just back off, will you? It wasn't just me. Nicole pressured me. You met her, she's scary. <laughs> she doesn't even cook her meat anymore. <laughs> Besides, at the time, it made sense. Look. We just want what's best for her. Flex, you're a wreck. You have to come clean with Brianna. No, I can't. Well, why not? I mean, you've never had trouble being honest with her before. Why is it so hard now? Is it because you know you shouldn't have interfered? Oh. All right, you're right. I'll, I'll tell her. I'll curse you and your PhDs. <laughs> you're welcome. No, that'll be $100. No, seriously, go get your checkbook. All right, sis, yeah, her flight gets in at 8 o'clock. I know it's a six-hour flight. Yeah, I know there's a time difference. You're three hours behind. What do you mean in how we having this conversation right now? <laughs> uh, Bernadette, please, just pick her up. Thank you. Bye. Hey, Daddy, is Aunt Bernadette still picking me up from the airport? Yeah, but it's a chance she'll be three hours late. <laughs> Baby, look, there's something I need to tell you. I already know no drugs, no booze, no babies. No, I, I mean, yes. And, and don't forget, no reality shows. <laughs> but in addition to that, I, I just want to... Oh, I'm going to miss you! Oh, don't worry, girl. I already told you you're going to visit me in California, remember? Sunshine, beaches, hot boys. I guess that could be fun. <laughs> well, you know, this is going to be fun and never seeing you again. <laughs> oh, come on, just one last dig before I never see you again. <laughs> All right, seriously, get out. Come on. Come on. Bye. Right, say bye. I'm say bye. Come on. Come on. Bye. 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 <laughs> All right, baby, we need to talk seriously. What is it, Daddy? Sweetie, I... Oh, I'm going to miss you. Oh, no, come on, dog. Look, we feel your love, but Brianna and I need to talk. Man, this is an outrage. I'm her godfather. I was there when she was born. And I was listening when she was conceived. Man, you better get, 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 get out of here, man. 
All right, look, uh, I'm gonna make this quick so we can hurry up and get to the airport. Uh, I kind of tricked Arnez into telling you to go to California without him. Whew, I'm glad that's off my chest. Let's roll. Wait, 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 wait. Hold up, you did what? <sighs> look, Bree, y your mother and I were worried about you and Arnez being too caught up in each other. And we didn't want you to make the same mistakes we did. So I talked to him and helped him realize that you two being apart was best for everyone. Your mother made me do it. <laughs> How could you? How could you go behind my back and meddle in my life? Baby, I just want what's best for you. Stop saying that. All you care about is what's best for you. Look, I know you're hurt, but I'm still your father. Fine. Father. But I'm not getting on that plane until I talk to Arnett. What? Well, you, you, you are not leaving this house without me going with you. <laughs> Arnett, open up. It's me. Uh, they're gone, Arnez. They left for the airport a while ago. I just wanted to say goodbye. Dwayne's is killing me. Uh, I know how you're feeling. Uh, next time, try knocking with the side of your hand and not your knuckles, more meat. <laughs> Dwayne, I hope I did the right thing. I mean, I can't eat, I can't sleep. Brianna's been my world for the last four years. I really love her and I'm gonna miss her. Yeah, I feel the same way. Except for the can't eat part. <laughs> I was about to fire up the fondue. Can I tempt you? I can't believe I pushed her away. It wasn't just you. It was what Flex and Nicole wanted. Why do you think he came to talk to you in the first place? Well, because he was just pointing out that Brown would be better off in California without me. Oh my God. How can I be so stupid? <laughs> Sorry, son. You, you get that from me. <laughs> Dwayne, you know you're not my dad, right? That hurts, Arnez. <laughs> After everything I did for you. Look, look. Flex just did what he thought was best for Brianna, and so did you. Yeah, but it hurts so much. Ah, oh, son. That's because you made the ultimate sacrifice. You set her free. Now it's time to start thinking about yourself. I mean, music has always been your dream, and now that dream is starting to come true. <laughs> I heard your song on the radio the other day. Uh, fighting for revolution. Brianna, I will not let you get on that plane without you speaking to me. All right, don't make me buy a ticket and come with you. Fine, I'll talk to you. Thanks for the ride. Bye. But Brianna, what I did was one of the most difficult things I've ever done, and that includes marrying your mother. Hey, look, I'm just trying to keep it real. <laughs> look, sometimes, as a parent, you, you have to be the bad guy. I, I tried for the last four years not to be that guy. This is something I had to do, baby. So you can be mad at me if you want, but I feel California is where you belong. It's all right, baby. Look, it's tough for me, too. I just wish Arnez would have fought harder for me. You crying tears over the board? <laughs> no. I mean, he has one talk with you, and he just lets me go? What kind of man is he? Oh, well, baby, you know, I am kind of convincing. I do this thing with my eyebrow, and it works every time. You know what? Maybe you did do me a favor. Going to California alone is going to be the best thing that ever happened to me. Ah, that's my baby. Yeah. I'm not going to let some cute, mindless boy hold me back. <laughs> <laughs> okay. It's time. Oh, Daddy. Hmm. Oh, wait a minute. I got something for you. Your mom sent it to me a while ago. She must have eaten the other ear during one of her feedings. Thanks, All right, now you better go before I start 
First class, huh? Arles? What are you doing here? Oh, this plane is about to take off in Los Angeles. Well, good, because that's where I'm headed. I have my passport and everything. Are you serious? Yeah. I'm not better than to leave Baltimore without a passport. <laughs> Rana, look, it's important that I'm true to myself and that I follow my heart. And my heart's going to California, so that's where I'm going. Your band, your career, your future. Uh, the only future that I'm sure of is the one with you. And I was a fool to let anyone, even your father, try to convince me otherwise. Yeah, about that. You have one conversation with my daddy, you're ready to just give me up? Why didn't you just say no? Haven't you learned anything from being with me? I know. I'm sorry. But your daddy does his thing with his eyebrow. <laughs> Look, Brianna, I know you don't want to hear this right now. But I would give anything to have parents who cared about me the way that yours do about you. I love you more than anything, Brianna. I love you, too. Let me get the light for you. <laughs> I love first class. <laughs> Danielle, maybe this was a mistake. You won't be able to cheer me up. I miss my baby too much. I'm just in a funk. Ooh, me deep funk. Oh, don't, don't worry, baby. That's just crystal. Keep going. Oh, God. Ooh, ow. God. I wish I had a dollar. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Take it down. Baby, I had no idea you were so naughty. Me neither. Until I met you. Yes. Oh, don't choke me. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> All right, I can't explain this. <laughs> Baby, what happened? What are you doing here? Daddy, I'm not going to California. And these shoes better be at the end of that sentence. <laughs> Look, Daddy, I appreciate what you and Mommy were trying to do for me, but I'm 18 now and I need to make my own decisions. Uh, here's something I thought I'd never say to my daughter. Baby, could you untie me so we can talk about this? <laughs> Yeah, in, in one minute, because it's j just one more thing. Uh, I'll just stand by the door. <laughs> uh, I won't be living with you anymore. I'm moving in with Arnez because that's where my heart is. <laughs> oh, your heart? What about my heart, huh? The one that your mother's going to rip out of my chest when she finds out you're moving in with the boy. <laughs> look, look, Daddy, I know this is a lot of information to take in right now, so why don't you go back to doing... 
whatever it was y'all was doing. <laughs> and uh, I'll call you later. Bye. Uh, baby, you got... Look, I'm sorry, Mr. Washington. I just, I love her too much to let her go. Hey, Martinez, I understand. I appreciate that, man. Come here, man. We never get to talk, man. Come here. Man, I'm so proud of you and the band and everything. You know. <laughs> No, Mr. Washington. <laughs> Not the eyebrow. Oh, no, no, there's no brow, bro. Just why, why don't you uh, untie me so we can so we can shake hands like men? <laughs> I'm dumb, Mr. Washington. But I don't want to be dead dumb. <laughs> See ya! Hey! Now open the door to our apartment. Yeah. <laughs> What's that? It's an eviction notice. Arnez! What? Okay, I was behind a couple of months with the rent, but I raised the money and I was gonna pay up today. And? And I used it so I can buy a ticket so I can get on a plane and get my girlfriend back. Oh. But wait, wait, where are we gonna live? Well, as long as we're together, it doesn't matter where we live. Right, baby? <laughs> I'm sorry, have we met? I'm spoiled. <laughs> you need to take care of me, Arnez. Hey, we're a team now. We split everything. If I had a sandwich, half of it would be yours. Oh, really? Well, where are we eating this sandwich? On the street? <laughs> There's no actual sandwich. It's just a metamorphosis for our relationship. <laughs> and you're the one going to college. It's called a metaphor, Arnez. A metaphor. Well, I don't know anything about metaphors. Well, I know what this is for. <laughs> Boy, put your shirt down. We don't have a place to live. What are we going to do? Oh, I know what I want to do. <laughs> uh, no, Dad, I got the taxes for the barbershop covered. I'm going to file an extension. An extension? I ought to take an extension cord to your behind. <laughs> Uh, Dad, you're, you're breaking up. Crumpling papers. Son, I was born cute, not crazy. Eunice, cash out. We going home. <laughs> what are you doing with my loofah? Um, it, it, it's a science project for school. <laughs> I was hoping some of your leftover funk includes bacteria. <laughs> well, I pride myself in being bacteria-free. Now, give me that. Get yourself a real project. It requires a little bit of effort. You wouldn't say that if you knew how much effort it took for me to pry that from your bathtub. <laughs> Besides, science projects are for scientists. I am an actress. Darius says I'm an artiste. Oh, more wisdom from that acting teacher, huh? Mm -hmm. Was it Darius who also told you to uh, get another ear piercing? Huh? Huh? I knew you was hiding something. I was born cute, not crazy. <laughs> Darius says that artists should always find new ways to express themselves. OK, let me try expressing myself. Give me that earring. OK. <laughs> oh, 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 you're not going to school without eating breakfast? Oatmeal. Daddy, Darius says carbs stifle creativity. Oh, that's because he's a teacher and he's not making enough money to afford carbs. <laughs> Stop hating on Darius, Daddy. And anyway, instant oatmeal? I think, as an artist, my character would eat, like, organic... Just eat it! <laughs> and scene. I gotta go. Wait, it's freezing outside. Where's your goose down coat? Hello? This outfit with this face? I'm too cute for that coat. Oh, uh, no, 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 no. They said on the radio that it's gonna be a blizzard, so you're putting the coat on. And you're taking these cable chains over to Sporty so they can put them on for you. And here's 20 bucks. Why did I even get out of bed this morning? To study at the feet of the great non-acting actor, Darius. You know the saying, those who can't do, teach. No, no, no. Those who can't do are daddies. Sometimes in this life, you can feel all by yourself. Check, one, two. But I have a partner, but I can't turn no one else. Uh -huh. So don't isolate yourself when there's nobody around. Uh -huh. Oh, yeah. I'll be there. Look what I found.
found hiding behind a plant in the hallway. Uh, those are Brianna's. No! I found them first. <laughs> nah, man, she ditched them there. And why does she insist on defying me? Lately, all we've been doing is button heads. <laughs> you said butt. <laughs> Not now, Dwayne. Do you know she went out and got another ear piercing? Thought she could hide it from me. Like I was born crazy, not cute. Man, you're starting to sound like your dad. I, mean, I don't sound anything like my dad. My dad sounds like this. Ow, man. And she's been disobeying me. Lately, everything's about Darius. Darius says this. Darius says that. Who's Darius? Some 20-year-old ex-con still in school for the free lunch? It's a drama teacher, man. Man, worse. Some state employee who's allowed to fill your daughter's head with some quasi-curriculum he learned in community college? He went to Juilliard. Oh, worse. Some spoiled, overeducated educated Oh, shut up. <laughs> you know what? You're right. I do sound like my dad. Ever since Brianna started taking this acting class, it's been nothing but drama between us. Yeah. I remember my first acting teacher. Met him at a nightclub. <laughs> he had me audition for him in his basement. Uh, are you sure that was a legitimate acting teacher? <laughs> oh, yeah, man. I mean, he had a video camera and everything. <laughs> Anyway, I'm gonna go down to her school with her cables and coat and let her know that I know she's defying me. Then maybe I can run into that Darius. Dog, he's just a teacher. Yeah, so is that guy videoing you in the basement. <laughs> he said it was an educational film. <laughs> uh, who can tell me who Konstantin Stanislavski is? That is that foreign exchange student with the unibrow. <laughs> Okay, check this out. Who's heard of James Dean or Shirley MacLaine, Marlon Brando? I, my man Vin Diesel? Yeah! Good, good, good. Not him. <laughs> but all the greats study Stanislavski, and he writes, everyone at every minute of his life must feel something. There can be no true art without living. So what was dude really trying to say? Brianna. Well, Darius, I believe Stanislavski was trying to say that true art comes from feelings and feelings come from life. Yes, there you go. Mm. Ooh, girl, you got the squeeze. <laughs> Lucky, cause he is so fine. But do you think he's too old for us? <laughs> well, I don't even think of him that way. Darius is a mentor, a sage. True, he has the body of a Greek god in the face of an angel. But more importantly, he has deepened my understanding of the craft of acting. Yeah, yeah, okay, whatever. Oh, look, look, you're picking a pencil. Uh, you are the best used car salesman ever, Dwayne. <laughs> and nothing will hold you back. Not your height, not your weight, not your dead tooth. <laughs> You will sell, 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 baby! <laughs> Hello? Oh, hey, Big Sal. Well, you're closing up early, <laughs> but Sal, baby, I can sell a snowplow in the desert. <laughs> yeah, I know there's no snow in the desert. That was an irony. Mm hmm. <laughs> yes, you're right. I'm stupid. <laughs> snow day! <laughs> The devil, they done caught the mad cow. I'm Darius Sorrell. I'm Flex Washington, Brianna's father. What? We're just doing some warm-up exercises to loosen everyone up, get the creative juices flowing. Now, can you turn the hose on this one here? You know you're welcome to stay and watch the class. I love when parents come and observe. OK, kids, good job. Good commitment to the exercise. We're ready. Uh, Brianna, he said your little acting exercise is over. I know, but I like to stay in character. So why are you here? Uh, because you dropped your coat and cables in the hallway behind the planter. Now, that's three days in a row, young lady, that you've blatantly ignored me after I've asked you to do something. Why? And scene! <laughs> that was so good, Daddy. <laughs> um, can we talk about this when we get home? Well, Darius has invited me to stay and observe the class. Right here, right where we <laughs> What's poppin', D-Moore? It's your boy, Papa Time, here at WDCJ. What's up, Papa? Are you snowed in like I am? Uh-huh. We all are. 
The city's paralyzed, so if you're waiting for someone to come home, they ain't coming home. You mean I'm alone? <laughs> Is anybody home? Anybody? Hello? Hello? Hola? You who? If there's anybody here, please say something! Oh, there's nobody here. I'm all alone. I don't do well alone. This is since memory work. So think about the last time you were scared. Did the hairs raise up on the back of your neck? Did you get goosebumps? Did you want to scream? I want to scream. <laughs> it's the most ridiculous thing I've ever seen. If you're supposed to be teaching an acting class, what happened to the classics? Hamlet, Death of a Salesman, Superfly. <laughs> Stop it, Daddy. Your attention, please. Due to the heavy snowfall, McKinley is canceling all after-school programs. Oh, that's it. We're out of here. Well, Dad, wait. Some of the students were going to stay after school and work on some monologues with Darius. Darius is keeping kids after school in the middle of a snowstorm? Oh, that is pretty irresponsible. I'm taking you home. I need to know you're safe while I'm at work. Statistically speaking, Mr. Washington, you're safer at school than in your own home. I've seen your home, Spirit. You are safer here. <laughs> But even still, you and Inez, grab your things. You're coming with me. Cool. Before we get home, can we swing by the guitar store? And library. Ooh, and McDonald's. I'm hungry. <laughs> oh, Inez, <laughs> I forgot. You got to stay here. Car's full. It's just three of you. It's full. <laughs> Flex Washington. Son, I've been thinking. We need to sell the barbershop as soon as possible so we can put off paying the taxes as long as possible. <laughs> but, Dad, the real estate guy says, you don't need to worry about what the real estate guy says. You need to worry about what I say. Slap yourself in the head for that. Attention, McKinley. The following is a snow update. All roads are closed until snowplows can make them accessible. Students and faculty, please report to the gym. All right, sweetie, I'm going to get to the truck. I'll be right back. But, Daddy, wait, I don't want to go. They just said all the roads are closed, and Darius says... Now, you don't can... need to worry about what Darius says. You need to worry about what I say. And I'm saying this worthless acting class isn't as important as your safety. Darius doesn't know everything. Now, get your things. And out into the storm of life he goes. <laughs> what does that mean? He'll be back. <laughs> Darius said you'd be back. Darius knows everything. Hey, Geraldine? Uh, yes, Flex. So I'm stuck down at my daughter's school. Who's gonna come get me? Nobody? Uh, you mean nobody wants to do the news without me? <laughs> they all wanna come down here and do it. Oh, uh, yeah. Uh, oh, no, that's, that's not safe. Uh, uh, I think it's best that, that I stay here. Uh-huh. Okay, farewell. Bye-bye. <laughs> well, kids, <laughs> looks like I'm gonna stay here and uh, make sure you're safe. <laughs> oh, wonderful. I'm so glad that you're here and now you can see everything that I've been talking about. <laughs> and scene. Hey, y'all. I was thinking we could kill some time by doing some scene improvisations. You know, that's where we throw out characters and situations and the kids act them out. Oh, man, I know what scene improvisation is. Unlike some people, I'm in front of the camera. Oh, well, perhaps you'd like to join us. Oh, look, I'm not really in the mood, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I mean, I don't want to knock what you do here, but these kids aren't learning anything in your class that they can use in the real world. I just want my daughter to have something to fall back on. I feel you, Mr. Washington. <sighs> Acting isn't for everyone. But then again, everyone isn't an actor. Oh, come on, Darius. Between you and me, anybody can act. Check this out. Scared flex. Oh, Lord! <laughs> and scene. Yeah, that wasn't that bad. You really should come join us on this improv. 
Yeah, you know what? I wouldn't mind doing a scene with my daughter. Can it be a death scene? Brianna, you should take the stage with your father. Yeah, come on. Hello. Hey, it's snowing pretty bad out here. I just wanted to make sure you had your snow chains on. Uh, yeah, how far away are you, Pop? I don't know. But it sounds like I'm getting close. <laughs> uh, I'm sorry, everybody. That was my dad checking on me because he cares about his child. Just like I care about my child. <laughs> and see. <laughs> You will not go crazy, Dwayne. Being alone will not make you go crazy. And you will not start talking to yourself. You're talking to yourself. No, you're not. Stop it. No, you stop it. This is Papa Overtime, working past his normal shift because no one can get here. Not the overpaid drive time DJ or my program director. Hey. I can play what I want. Take this Baltimore, expand your musical minds with some vintage Big Bang. You're both stranded in a lifeboat. And Brianna, you're starting to get really hungry. And go. I got a better idea. Brianna's a high-powered attorney trying to free her wrongfully imprisoned client, and I'm a secretary. And go. <laughs> Bring me the file on Mr. Any Blackman. <laughs> We're gonna take his case to the Supreme Court of Appeals. Appeals? I'm sorry. You're using big words. I don't have a college degree. <laughs> you don't need a college degree as long as you're good at what you do. Just put the files on my desk. I'm sorry, Miss Lawyer. If only I had learned something more practical in school, I might be more useful. <laughs> so you're just gonna have to fire me and put me back on the welfare. <laughs> Mr. Blackman is counting on us to free him. It would be nice if I could just have your support right now. It's kind of hard to support something that you don't believe in. Do you have a backup plan? What if your case doesn't work out the way you want it to? I'll never know until I try. I just wish you would believe in me as much as I do. You mean Mr. Blackman? He know who I mean. <laughs> Have you seen Brianna? I've been looking all over for her and I can't find her. She's not in the girls' locker room. <laughs> not that I was either. <laughs> Pop, is that you? I can't believe you made it to the storm. Why did you come down to the school? I came here to save my son, whom I figured would be here trying to save his daughter. I was trying, but she didn't want to have anything to do with me. What'd you do this time? It's this acting thing, Pop. I can't believe she's throwing away her life. Oh, son, as a parent, you're always questioning your children's decisions. And why all of a sudden you have a problem with her acting? You sent her to an art school. <laughs> See? Right there, I am questioning your decision to question your daughter's decisions. It's the circle of life. Pop, I just want her to keep her options open, but this, this Darius guy, her, her drama teacher, keeps feeding her this pipe dream. Oh, I see. Another man in her life. <laughs> Another adult she thinks is cooler than you are. Oh, uh, hold on now, I didn't say that. No, you didn't have to. Look, son, I remember when you first started to dominate on the court, it was Coach Wilson says this and Coach Wilson says that. Oh, I hated that Coach Wilson. Hey, why don't you like him? He was great. That's why I didn't like him, because you liked him. I even thought you liked him more than me. I blamed him for putting those dreams of playing pro ball in your head so I could have somebody to blame for losing you. You worried about losing me, Pop? Doesn't every parent worry about losing a child? I don't, I don't want to lose Brianna, Dad. You're going to lose her for a little bit, but she'll come back just like you did. Oh, hey, Grandpa. 
<laughs> what? Oh. oh, where's Grandma? Is she with you? No, I couldn't pull her out of that casino. I'm picking her up in a week. <laughs> Good news. The storm's lifted and the roads are being plowed. We can go home. Finally. All right, get your stuff. I'm gonna drive you home. Oh, no, it's okay, Dad. We're gonna stay after school and work on those monologues with Darius. So that's Darius, huh? Yeah. I don't like him either. <laughs> Hey, Doug, wake up, man. You all right? Oh, man. Oh, must have been dreaming. Hmm. Did you turn it off? Yep. Hi, Mom. Just thought you might want to hear from Arnez and I. Here we are at our new house in California. It's right by the beach. And no, we're not having sex. Oh. Well, I just finished my first week of college, and everything's going great. I look so cute. Well, except for today, my hair kind of need a hot comb. Yeah. But, oh, <laughs> Daddy's been helping me get settled in. But he won't leave. <laughs> what? Dad? All right, now step inside and check out our new home. Oh, look who's here. It's one of our roommates, Sarah. Oh, I hope that thing's not on. I just woke up. I look horrible. Oh, who am I kidding? I look fabulous. <laughs> Call me if you're rich. Uh, this is, this is for my mom. Oh! Hi, Rihanna's mom. Good job marrying a celebrity and then getting a divorce. We should talk. <laughs> What's going on? Oh, hi, D-Max. Say hi to my mom. I'm sending her a video letter. Oh, yeah, that's right. Your mom's in Africa. Yo, what's up? Hey, look, I just want you to know that I, too, am from Africa. <laughs> By way of Malibu. Yeah, I'm in Malibu because I was snatched from my motherland. <laughs> hey, I, I plan on coming there one day, but, uh, get at me on the hotel situation because this brother don't do huts. All right? <laughs> D-Max. <laughs> is Cash. He's going to be a filmmaker someday. And I wasn't asked to shoot this video, but my feelings aren't hurt because I'm better than that. That's totally the wrong lens. Hack. All right. And over here is our last roommate, Lisa. We have art history together. So is that what you're studying right now? Uh-huh. Hmm. I didn't know men wearing tidy whities was considered art. <laughs> Obviously, you haven't seen page four. Whew. I'd like to frame and mount this guy, huh? <laughs> Uh, before we cut off, uh, let's go get a shot of our cute little porch. Come on. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, no. And this is our landlord, Manny. You might recognize him as little Manny from Manny of the House. <laughs> oh, maybe my catchphrase will help jog your memory. It wasn't me. <laughs> yeah. yeah, both his sitcom and his clothes were last seen in the 80s. <laughs> Everything, Mom. See, you have nothing to worry about. I love you and I miss you. Hey, hey, and if you look anything like your daughter, give me a ring a ling ling. <laughs> Little man didn't grow up. Little man didn't grow up. Oh. Sometimes you can feel all by yourself. Last night was chicken. Tonight is shrimp. Shrimp flavored. Do you know what else is shrimp flavored? Cat food. I'd rather eat that. Well, I would too, but I can't afford it. You know what? I'm about to go check our savings and see if we can have a decent meal. Oh, yeah. Yeah, move to California with your spoiled girlfriend and no money. Good plan. <laughs> Three pesos and a rabbit's foot? What happened to all our money? All we bought were my books and your guitar strings. What are we going to eat with three pesos? We'll just go to a Mexican restaurant. <laughs> I'm kidding. Look, Arnez, I cannot live like this. I'm about to go call my dad and see if he can take us out to dinner. 
Whoa, 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 whoa. Don't toss the noodles. Are those shrimp? <laughs> hey, guys, guess what's in Lisa's purse? Expired condoms and an unopened box of Tic Tacs? <laughs> no, that's what's in your purse, Biatch. <laughs> Daddy says we're on for dinner. <gasps> oh, a puppy! I know, isn't he cute? <sighs> yeah, this really hot guy was giving away puppies, and I wanted him to like me, so I took one. <laughs> Did it work? It worked for me. I got his number. <laughs> you know, Manny doesn't allow any pets. Well, if we keep him away from the liquor cabinet, Manny will never see him. <laughs> Open up your dad beats with Manny! Cash, quick, hide him! <laughs> Hear you knocking. <laughs> I was itching. <laughs> so is it either a dog in here or an ex-wife? You were married, Manny? Oh no, somebody else's ex-wife. See, they my specialty. Low self-esteem, low expectations, and having somebody else's money. <laughs> <laughs> now I'm here on business. Now I'm about to go upstairs and drink my malt liquor martini. <laughs> Any of y'all wanna join me? How about you, hip hop Barbie? <laughs> He's not trembling. He and the oven mitt are getting it on. <laughs> Doggy style. I'm tired of getting shot down at these clubs. Every audition is the same thing. Shh. Wow, it's like you were there. Why watching Spanish soap operas? No, just calientes. Hot nights. But you guys don't speak Spanish. Please, I speak woman in any language. I see Maria here is mad at Alejandro because he doesn't spend enough time with her, right? So she goes and hooks up with Carlos, the pool guy, to talk. Hm. Next thing you know... She's getting her pool clean. Hey, guys. Hey, Arnez. Notice anything different about me? Uh... Hair, fool. Don't you know anything about women? Wait a minute. Where'd you get the money to get your hair done? I use my resources and intelligence. There is nothing an independent woman can't do. Hey, baby, you left your bags in my car. Oh, thank you for taking me shopping, Daddy. Uh, hello, Mr. Washington. Boy? <laughs> Look, I was wondering if I can call you Flex and you can call me by my name. Sure, as long as your name is Boy. <laughs> Sweetie, uh, don't forget, um, I'm leaving for open for the weekend to interview Randy Moss, so we are going to the Ivy for dinner tonight. <gasps> oh, cool. I always wanted to try that restaurant. Oh, well, when you do, I'm sure you'll like it. <laughs> tonight is just for Brianna and her daddy. Mm -hmm. Yeah, when you're not around, she calls me daddy. <laughs> what? Huh? What? Speak up? I, I said, when I get older, I'm going to buy me a caddy. <laughs> Because I had my money on you becoming a caddy. Thanks. <laughs> See you later, baby. Thanks for everything, Daddy. Now, if you'll excuse me, I'm gonna see how my new fabulous hair looks with my new fabulous clothes. <laughs> my daddy bought me. <laughs> Man, you need to get a job so you can take care of your woman, homie. Yeah, if you don't, she'll always go running back to her daddy. You think I don't want to provide for Brianna? You can go right outside and make money playing on the boardwalk, dog. You think I'm that good? No. <laughs> Any money as a musician? Just give me a sign. <laughs> Thanks for not putting wings on elephants. <laughs> wow, hey, thanks. Wow, so what song do you want to hear? 
like the sound of this oil being slathered across your six-pack. I don't know that one. Here, get to rubbing. Okay. Mission, she blames me. See, now, if it was a black dog, she wouldn't care. <laughs> Help your boy out, man. Here, boy. <whistles> well, we looked. <laughs> oh, you gonna be in trouble? Why me? We all here. Not me. I was at school. Bye. <laughs> here, doggy. <sighs> Stupid dog. A worthless. Can't even fight. That cat whipped his ass yesterday. Hey, guys, you rally for school yet? <laughs> Why, yes, she did, Daisy Duke. Uh, can you move out of my eye line? I can see your boss hog. <laughs> you mean boss hog as in Washington, Lincoln, and yes, a Jackson? Whoa. Mm -hmm. Wait a minute. Hold up, hold up. Tight shorts, sunglasses, coconut oil. You didn't go boogie nights on us, did you? Look, all I had to do was take off my shirt and start playing the guitar, and the next thing you know, women were swarming on me like... like women of Arnaz. <laughs> That's what we're talking about. Maybe now you can take your girl to a nice restaurant. You know, one without a playground out front. Well, that's crazy. What will we do before the dinner comes? Hi. Hey, do you guys know who this cute little dog belongs to? Me, that's He's mine. mine. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Most guys aren't secure enough to have a little cutie like this. What? What's his name? Bentley. Mm. Like my car. <laughs> yeah, his daddy's car. Hi, my name is Cash. Hi. As in, he don't have none? <laughs> Not mean money or debt. Candles and they're lit. <laughs> you know this place is for grown-ups. <laughs> you sure you can afford all this? I have money now. I'm a hit on the boardwalk. And now I can finally give you the world. First, I'm gonna give you this. Excuse me. I saw you on the boardwalk and I loved your show. You <laughs> have an amazing body. Of work. <laughs> Lots of music. I have plenty of music to choose from. They love it all. <laughs> yes, we do. Mm. Wow, baby, your first fan. You know what? I'm so proud of you for taking your music so seriously. So when can I come check out the show? You can't. I mean, it's a little kinky right now. I mean, I'm working out the kinks. Right, but baby, I don't think I can wait. Aww. Oh, so is it true? I can order off the right side of the menu? Are you nuts? Appetizers only. Baby steps, baby. Baby steps. <laughs> Eat up, Bentley. And we hitting the mall later. <laughs> and if you give me a date, I'll pay Lisa to let you hump her leg again. <laughs> Wait, do you really think cruising the mall with a dog dressed like 50 Cent is gonna get you women? Not without the snuggly. <laughs> There's the mutt. That walking throw rug ate one of my Jimmy Choo's. Look, just keep your dog away from my Choo's, okay? The guy only has my size in his van like once a month. Let's just give it to somebody else. Besides, I saw a really hot guy giving away kittens. You are staying your hot ass home. Oh, I'm gonna miss that little dog. Well, not as much as the other man is. <laughs> no way the dog stays. He's a babe magnet. Who's the little babe magnet? Yes, you are. Yes, you are. I mean, uh, the dog's cool. Fine. Then I guess I'll just have to call Manny. Mm -hmm. 
You, you wouldn't dare. Watch me. <laughs> oh, is it a problem with the plumbing? <laughs> Don't mind if I do. <laughs> Cash has a dog. What? See, I knew there was a dog here. Hand him over. That's the rules. Come on, man. We, we even named him after you, little Manny. Oh, well, he is cute like me. <laughs> well, I guess you guys can keep him if you give me a $1,000 pet deposit. Uh, th man, you know we can't afford that. Okay, well, I'll take the dog. Come on, doggy. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I can't believe you guys did this to me after all I haven't done for you. <laughs> Come on, little Frosty Freeze. <laughs> oh, look at you bubbling all up on me. <laughs> Thank you all for joining the musical experience I like to call Arnez by the Pacific. <laughs> Any requests? Take off your clothes. Yeah! Are you sure you don't want to hear a song first? I've been practicing. Take it off and we'll take it off for you. Take, take it, it off! off. Take, take it off! Take it off! Take it off. Is this what you want? He's a little shy. <laughs> oh, not today. <laughs> well, what's he doing? <laughs> I don't know, but I'm glad I brought single. Oh, 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 yeah. You want it? 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 Oh, you want it? Take that! Oh, oh. Arnaz, what are you doing? Making my day. <laughs> How about I make it your last day? Arnaz, why don't you have any clothes on? Look, baby, the competition is hard down here. I needed a gimmick if I was gonna make any money. Ralph over there plays a harmonica with his nose. Craig has no legs and he sea walks. But stripping? Right here in front of everybody? Yeah. If I don't start making money and being the man in the relationship, you're gonna keep running to your dad. You know how hard it is to compete with your dad? He buys you everything. Boo. Loves me. Well, I love you too. Why do you think I'm doing all this? He's doing it for me. Okay, this is your last warning before I get East Coast on you. <laughs> Look, baby, you don't have to compete with my dad. You can't. He has a lot of money, and I'm his only daughter. Of course, maybe I do need to wean myself off of him, but let's be real. There's no daddy patch. But it's gonna be hard, but I know we can do this without you having to take your clothes off. That's a relief to hear. I thought I was gonna have to buy your clothes and buy you shoes and get your hair done. Of course you don't have to, baby. But if you want to, I am not gonna stop you. Oh, thanks, baby. Oh. Oh, oh, wait, hold up, baby. You made a lot of money. Keep shaking it. Come on, uh-uh, don't leave. Cleaned a lot. Hey, baby. Oh, oh, hey, daddy. You ready for dinner? I got us reservations at Spago's. I just told him I was Marlon Wayans. <laughs> uh, actually, daddy, there's been a change in plans. Arnez, my man, is taking us out for dinner. He got a new job. Little Philip Michael Thomas works? <laughs> yes, Arnez does. In fact, we're having dinner at his place of employment. Okay, Mr. Washington, let's hear the jokes. Ah, uh, no, nah, jokes on me, man. I mean, who would have thought that you would have been responsible enough to get a job? <laughs> That's the best you got? No, uh, you want fries with that or speak loud into the clown, please? <laughs> no, I'm serious. I want someone to help take care of my daughter. And for some reason, she insists on it being you. <laughs> nice. All right, all right. All right, let's go. Okay. Let's go eat. <laughs> Hey, so, uh, do we get out of the car, or will the waitress on roller skate serve us? <laughs> Aw, look at my boo. He gets his first paycheck and buys everybody ice cream. Can I borrow five bucks? I don't have enough. <laughs> what? Yo, lunch wasn't cheap. You wanted cheese, and your dad got the monster fries. <laughs> Our dog. 
Poor thing traded down from the oven mitt. Hey, kids. Don't hate kids us. You dog jacked us. <laughs> yeah. Dog jacker. Oh, that sounds like a movie. I could sell that over at Paramount. So, I see you guys are out for a walk. Have you done your business yet, Manny? <laughs> oh, no, but I'm about to get to business. Lil Manny here's a babe, man. Yeah, no kidding. Watch the match. Look at that cute little dog. He's almost as cute as you. You want to go behind the dumpster and make out? I think he was talking to you, little Manny. There you go. Um, uh, I, I don't do that. Not today, no.